Associate Professor of Physics and Astronomy at Washburn University in Topeka, Kansas. Today I'm going to show you a couple of simple demos that you can do to help illustrate the principle of conservation of energy. Uh, in particular, how kinetic energy can be converted into heat or thermal energy. So this is a really simple but dramatic demo you can do to show how kinetic energy is converted into heat or thermal energy. So I've got these two colliding steel spheres, which come as a set from Arbor Scientific. And I'm going to collide these together with a piece of paper in the middle. So I'm going to have Julie here hold the paper and then tell me what she sees after collision. Okay, so what do you notice? It's burning. Yeah, so this actually converts the kinetic energy into thermal energy, resulting in burning the paper. And I'll do this several more times in class to show more dramatically how this works. And it's pretty obvious to anyone sitting nearby that there's a very strong burning smell from the paper uh, being heated by this collision. So this is another demo that uh, will show the conversion of kinetic energy into heat or thermal energy. And this requires a little bit more equipment. Uh, here I've got a temperature probe. And I, around the end of the temperature probe I've wrapped a bunch of silly putt. And then I've got it connected to the computer here, and I'll collect temperature data. I've got it at equilibrium here, about 18.3 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to start my data collection again. And I'm going to hit the silly putty with this hammer and see how the kinetic energy is converted into thermal energy, which should show as a rise in temperature on the data collection screen. All right, so here we go. Okay, so a uh, pretty dramatic rise, up to uh, about 19.8 degrees Celsius. Uh, very obvious change in temperature here, and this is a nice dramatic demo that you can do with your class. Um, I generally don't tell the students what I'm going to do. I just set this up, grab the hammer, whack the silly putty, and it usually wakes them up if they're asleep. Uh, so this is a fun one, pretty easy to do, yeah, as long as you've got the equipment, which most labs will have. So this is another fun demo you can do to demonstrate conservation of energy and the conversion of kinetic energy into thermal energy, or heat. So this is a fire syringe that you can get from Arbor Scientific. It's basically just a piston, and you can compress this, and it shows how compressing a gas increases the temperature. So inside there's a small piece of cotton fibers uh, from a basic uh, cotton ball and compress the air in the tube, it heats that cotton, and that will ignite. So here we have the fire syringe, and inside it I have a small piece of cotton ball. That helps if you use a small piece um, near the bottom, and uh, if you spread it out so that there's a lot of surface area on the fibers, that will help it ignite it. There's a clear uh, smoke smell from that uh, burned co cotton. So that's the fire syringe, another fun, very visual demo uh, that you can use to show this conservation of kinetic energy into thermal energy or heat. And uh, an extra uh, component you can add to this, especially with more advanced students, is the uh, thermodynamics idea of compressing a gas and increasing its uh, temperature. Uh, a couple of things to watch out for when using this product. You want to make sure that it's screwed down very tightly. You want to make sure there's a good seal. Uh, if necessary, you may need to use some lubricant on the O-rings. Uh, when you compress it, it should bounce back very easily. And use a small piece of cotton fiber in there uh, so that there's enough surface area to uh, ignite easily. And you may have to try it a few times to get a good result. 